hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos in this video i'm going to be showing you the part two of the basic bodice pattern which i'm i'm drafting on my first video i showed you how to draft the first the front body pattern which is the front panel but this video i'll be showing you in detail how to draft the back basic bodice pattern for your sewing project so guys let's get started so what you see here now is the front pattern which i've already drafted before so i'm now i'm going to draft at the back panel so this is the back panel on my first video i measured one thing i said your when you are when you are drafting out this um, allowances it has to be accurate with your front as well the length of your fabric has to be accurate with the front panel and also you see the half an inch which i took off it has to be accurate with the back panel so they have to be of the same length and of the same width so you can get your drafting right that is very important so now i'm going to take away my front panel so i can start drafting on my back panel so now i'm going to take away my front panel so this is my back panel on my back panel i took out two inches for my sewing allowance these two inches is for my zipper allowance we know we all we have we need to have zip on our back bodies so this line you see here the two inches line is for my zipper allowance so let's get started so now i'm going to start drafting from my from this spot here from behind my zipper allowance i will put in my shoulder to shoulder my shoulder to shoulder is uh 12 inches divided by two what i have is uh six so yeah i'll go in by six i'm going to add half an inch to it making it 6.5 so on this spot here i will come down by one inch here then my shoulder width is going to be three inches as well just at the same the same width of my front panel it has to be three inches but my shoulder depth has to be one and a half inches of the neckline for my neck width to my neck depth and from here this is my ham hole my ham hole is seven inches then i had half an inch to it making it 7.5 so yeah from here is 7.5 so if I divide that 7.5 by 2 to get the midpoint, what I have is 3.7. So from here to here, what I have here is 3.7. So I'm going to mark it out now. 3.7. So then I rule it out here, which I've already done. There will now be my chest line. This will be my chest line. Or you can also call it your bust point line so having done that on this place here i'm going to put in my bust line my, my bust point line because i always prefer to do that so my bust point line quarter of my bust point line is 8.5 so i go like this i put it 8.5 But always make sure that your measurement for your ham hole for the front panel and for the back panel they are the same. Like my, my this measurement here now, my ham hole and my bust line is the same thing with my front panel. So I will show you what I mean. This is my front panel here. So from here to this place is 8.5 so I keep it aside 
so i also have to come here as well from here to this place is 8.5 i've got my midpoint so now for the back panel you don't need to go in by half an inch you just simply connect your midpoint to this place so i'm going to connect my midpoint to this place that's for the back panel i'm going to use my ink oh it's my ink from here i just connect it to the midpoint of my hand pump which i've done see so this is the midpoint so that's how the back panel is just like you don't need to go in by half an inch so the next thing to do now is to get our straight measurement on the back panel what i need here i don't need my bust point line what i need is just my waist and my hip line so i'll go here like this from here from my shoulder to my waist is 19 inches i'll mark it 19 inches from my shoulder to my hip is 23 inches so now i'll now add one inch for my sewing allowance so have we done this i'm going to roll out a horizontal line this way this way and this way so now that i've drawn the straight line the next thing is for me to put my breast spar measurement which is also called your dart so my dart here for this dry is uh, eight inches it has to be the same way i did the front panel so eight divided by two i get four so i'm going to put four on my chest line or you can also call it your bust line so i'm going to put four i'll mark four here then i'll go down as well i'll mark four then on my hip line i'll mark four on my sewing allowance i'll mark four so i'm going to connect the straight line from here straight down so I've connected the straight line from my from my chest line to my sewing allowance at the bottom. So the next thing I will do here is this. On my chest line, I'll come back, come down by one inch. I'll mark it like this, one inch. Then on my waistline, let me write it down. Waist, hip, and allowance. So on my waistline, I will take half an inch. On both sides then on my hip line I'll come up by I'll come up by two inches then having done that I'm gonna connect the dot from it from this place this way this way straight to this place I'm got my ruler to connect the dot from here as well. And I'm going to the other side to connect it. So, having done this, the next thing I'm going to do is to put in my round measurements. So, I did a video on how to eliminate zip bulge. On your back of your dress so i'm going to do it here again so on my waistline what i'm going to do here on my waistline i'm going to take half an inch like so then i'm going to connect from here from my allowances straight down this way then straight down this way like a curve so i'm, I'm going to use my free hand to do that so from this point I connect a dot from here to the end there, which I'm going to do like this. To, to be this waistline. Then I also connect a curve from here to this place. You can use a ruler if you want to, but I decided to use a, a my free hand. So, 
having done this, now I'm going to put in my uh, round measurement. So, on my waistline, my waist, quarter of my waistline is 8.5. So, I'll go here like this. From here, from here to here is 8.5. Oh, my tape measure is so long. 8.5 from here. What I have here is 8.5. Remember, this half an inch on this plane, half an inch plus half an inch is one inch. So I have to put it back. It's one inch. I put it back now. You see that? So, I will go to my hip as well. My hip, cut off my hip is nine inches. So, I'll go here like this. I put in nine inches. Where my that start from here? I'm gonna. I need that uh, half an inch from this. Where the line gonna start from? So I put it that back. That half, half an inch back. As well. So, how we done this? I'm gonna connect the line from here. Like so, from here. This way. So this way straight down to me the to me the allowances. So have we done this? Remember to use your curve ruler to curve the edges. But I'm not gonna bother about this now because this is just a pattern paper which I'm drafting. So it's for you to get an idea. So now we're finished this side. So now I have to come to this place. Remember, I, I, I went in by half an inch because of my Ptolemy zip bulge. So from here, so from this place, I'll start taking one inch from here. Like so. Maybe two inches from here. From here, I'll start making sure you two inches out. Two inches. So I'll go in again. Two inches. I'm going. I'm starting from this line now. I'm creating my new zipper allowance. Two inches. I'm going again. Two inches. Two inches. Two inches. Two inches. Two inches. I go to my allowances. Two inches. So now it is now going to be like a curve. So I'm not creating I'm not creating the curve from here, like so. I just connect the dots from here. This way. I'll go to the other one. This way as well. Because our body, you know the human body is not straight. It's curvy. So So that's it. So when you cut it out, you see like the, the back curve around the spinal cord is no longer straight. It curves now this way, this way to the chest line. So you start from the chest line. So it's not curving. So that's the end of this tutorial. I'm not going to cut the pieces. Because I'm still going to use this for another my tutorial, the pattern paper. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share my video. And for now, one peace, one love, and bye for now. Bye for now.